Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, Microsoft is going to be integrating AR, artificial intelligence, um, a lot more into future versions of Windows where they are going to be integrating AR more into the actual shell of the operating system. So it will be integrated directly more into the Start Menu File Explorer taskbar, unlike it currently is where we have to launch a separate um, co-pilot um, from the desktop. So um, as mentioned, AR being more integrated in future versions of Windows, more into the actual shell of the operating system. Now, in regards to this, we can also expect an increase, a significant increase in AR-capable PCs in the near future because of this change. And uh, in regards to this, Canals, who are a market research firm with their latest forecast, um, which I'll leave uh, down below in the description, um, their latest forecast predicts that an estimated 48 million AR-capable PCs will ship worldwide this year in 2024, which they say represents 18% of the total PC shipment. So we can expect to see quite a significant increase as mentioned. Now, um, they say this obviously will be the start of a major market transition with AR-capable PC shipments projected to surpass 100 million in 2025, which means 40% of all PC shipments then will be AR-capable PCs, which I thought was interesting. Now, they also go on to say that in 2028, they expect vendors to ship 205 million AR-capable PCs. And this is just a chart from that um, post, which will just give us a visual representation of um, their latest um, forecast. And in 2028, they expect vendors to ship 205 million AR-capable PCs, which they say will represent a staggering annual growth rate of 44% between 2024 and 2028. So in that four-year period, as they say, they are expecting quite an um, increase in the annual growth rate of AR-capable PCs. Now, these PCs, um, they say, integrate dedicated AR accelerators such as neural processing units, NPUs for short. And basically, an NPU um, is inside the CPU DAR and is used to accelerate AR workloads. So AR-capable PCs, as an example, will need a neural processing unit. And according to Canals, they say this will unlock new capabilities for productivity, personalization, and power efficiency, which they also say um, disrupt will disrupt the PC market and deliver significant value gains, really increase um, by 40% um, next year in 2025. Um, of AR capable PCs. Now they have said um, from this post, and I'm quoting, the wider availability of AR accelerating silicon in personal computing will be transformative, leading to over 150 million AR capable PCs shipping through to the end of 2025. They also mentioned that PCs with dedicated on device AR capabilities, like an NPU, will enable new and improved user experiences, driving productivity gains and personalizing devices at scale while offering better power efficiency, stronger security and reduced costs associated with running AR workloads. They also mentioned that this emerging PC category opens new frontiers for both software developers and hardware vendors to innovate and deliver compelling use cases to customers across consumer, commercial and education scenarios. So, Quite a lot of interesting um, predictions here by Canals, who, as mentioned, are a research company. And um, as I've posted previously, and this video will be in the end screen um, of um, this previous video will be in the end screen of this video, where um, Canals had also estimated that around 240 million PCs will end up in landfills when Windows 10 support ends next year in October the 14th, 2025. So quite a lot of predictions by Canals. So um, as I always say with these um, surveys and that, and um, we also kind of take them with a pinch of salt because, uh, um, you know, um, they will give us a good estimate, but will never be 100% accurate. But I thought that was interesting in regards to Microsoft integrating AR further into future versions of Windows. And as mentioned, now Canals, because of this, um, they predict that and forecast that AR-capable PCs will make up 40% of global PC shipments next year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.